Okay, in this video, we're going to go ahead and paint or rather stamp our design down on the side of the shoe so we can use it as a guide which we can build our panels over. All right, so the first thing I want to do is go ahead and load up the shell uh, lesson. Start our, at least the one you have with the uh, UV map attached to it. So it should look like this as far as the UV map goes. So once you've done that, let's jump over to the painting tab here and uh, let's go ahead and select a paintbrush and then I'll select the image ink tool. Now image ink is the tool that uses a, an image to paint down or a stamp down onto your object. So it's a very cool tool. Um, and it does so by creating this little window pane with your image over the top of it so you can transfer it down on top of your on top of your model so what we need to do now is uh i'm going to hide the uh well the airbrush parameters if you see those you can just roll that up and uh go to the uh the uh thing the smooth brush as well <laughs> and then uh, go to the image ink parameters here and first thing we want to do is we need to obviously grab an image that we want to transfer down onto the uh, shoe and uh, if you don't see it immediately here you can go up here to this little uh, button here and go to add path and navigate over to where your images are at now you're not actually selecting the image you're just selecting the directory where the images uh, reside so if it's in the images directory there that's where it will be so this will be shoe design v03 and it's a png transparent png and uh, there it is now it populates this little uh, thumbnail palette area here and if you have multiple images the multiple images will be will be uh, showing up in here as well so I'm just going to double click on this guy and you can see it's an orthographic uh, image it's an orthographic view so we need to uh, change our viewport here to orthographic right so I'm just gonna line that up now what I want to do is uh, uh, we're going to stamp this down normally that's not selected so you'll probably want to select that and I'm going to click one time in this viewport and it's going to create an I a blank image for me and give it a second and there it is we need to resize it and line it up with the uh, side of the shoe model here so I'm just going to grab this little guy right here and drag that out till I get to the size that I want it to be and uh, this little gizmo on top will rotate the window now you want to be careful that you don't select anywhere else other than these tools until you've lined it up because once you once you start clicking in in this window area it's actually going to start painting the image down on your shoe and you'll never be able to line it up again so I'm going to get this lined up here now we can also try to do fit view and then uh, just hold down the option and control key to move your um, model in relationship to the window so you can either line up the window with the model or the model with the window either one okay so uh, now when you do do that fit view um, you're going to see that you lose the ability to to move your your uh, image manually so all right so let's uh, just do it manually I guess all right it may take a few minutes to line it up the way you want it but I think that's a pretty good alignment right there so I'm just going to make sure that stamp is selected and just make sure your color selector is set to white because if it isn't it will tint your image so I'm going to go ahead and click in the viewport give it a second and there it is all right now I'm going to switch to the right side and I'm going to flip horizontally and you'll probably have to make some adjustments on your alignment as well here but it's usually just a moving left or right let's say right about there I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that down right there okay so I'm going to hit escape twice to drop the tool. I'm going to go to my perspective view and there it is. 
and uh, that's not too bad. Now you'll notice that, uh, especially around this little panel here, uh, you'll get some stretching because that's due to the fact that we're using an orthographic image to project onto a 3D model. And so you will get some strangeness in certain areas, but not too bad. One final note is to be sure you save your image. You can do so from the file drop-down menu because if you don't save the image, you will lose your file.